This month, we're looking at a suprachoroidal hemorrhage, vitreous hemorrhage, and subretinal hemorrhage all in one eye. In this particular case, the patient presented after trauma, and they were found to have this appearance within a few days. They were scheduled for immediate evaluation in the operating room to look for an open globe, i.e. a scleral rupture, to cause these various hemorrhages. Suprachoroidal hemorrhages in general can occur from, for numerous reasons. One would be intraoperative, another is postoperative, and the third, which is this case, is from trauma. Intraoperative choroidal hemorrhages occur during intraocular surgery, such as cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, and even retina surgery. And basically, in general, they ca they're caused when the intraocular pressure becomes very low relative to the blood pressure, and that can lead to these suprachoroidal hemorrhages. They can also occur postoperatively, again, if the pressure is low relative to the blood pressure, and you can develop these sub-suprachoroidal hemorrhages.